What's up, Slackers? Um, we're gonna do a video today. We've got some cool stuff. Uh, basically, we're gonna take this 9900K and we're gonna pop the top. So, uh, we're gonna delete it. We're gonna, I don't know if you, if it, you guys don't realize, but this is actually a solder chip. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna pop the top and then remove the solder. We have this nice kit from uh, Rock Cool. Um, it's the, it's a basically a liquid that will go on and actually remove the solder. We still have to do a little bit of scraping and stuff, but um, we're gonna use that. And then I have uh, one of Roman's early deliters. I always use it. Been it's, it's deleted hundreds of chips, so very useful. Normal screwdriver. I guess let's get this started. So, all right, guys. Um, Obviously, we're gonna have to delete the chip first. So what we'll do is we'll put the, the other stuff to the side and go through and get everything ready. See, basically, popped it, popped it off relatively easier than I thought it would. To be honest, it's a little bit interesting. So yeah, uh, the next step is going to be to just take off all this silicone around here. On both, since we're gonna use the IHS, I want to do some testing. I already know what this chip will do. Uh, it's like a 5.3 um, R15 chip, so 5.3 gigahertz at about 1.3 to 1.31 voltage. So let's test it on the Apex. Uh, I tested on another board just to make sure. Um, so what we're gonna do is definitely clean this off a little bit. So the first step is to obviously delete it. The second part is to go through and take all the silicone off. Um, once we take the silicone off, we're gonna use this stuff. This stuff supposedly will take off any of the solder. It's basically a solder remover, not a uh, liquid metal. So uh, let me get the tool and we'll start that. Okay, so I got a old card that's useless. Don't worry about the numbers, it's a prepaid. It doesn't really work. So if you're gonna try to steal my money, you can't. So what we're gonna do is a, gonna scrape off this silicone. It's relatively easy to do. You can do any type of gift card or whatever. It's not going to matter too much. You can see it's coming off pretty much with ease. Let's see how right there. So, keep doing it. You can tell the solder is really soft that you can just heat it up without an issue. To be honest, this one is a, a pop. 
pop so easy, it's almost like it wanted to be deleted. We don't need too much pressure either. We're just going a little bit lazy. Because you want to get it pretty much clean. You don't have to get it too good. I like to be a little bit OCD with it. I'm driving nuts. I'll take some CRC on it and clean it up even further. It's amazing how small this chip is compared to my hands. Too, is take the CRC and spray it over on it too. It helps loosen that silicone off. And this stuff is extremely safe. I use it all the time in clean processors, pretty much every computer component. Motherboards, memory slots, PCIe slots, everything. So you can see that we're pretty much getting everything off. You can check on video, but you can see that even the residue comes off of the TRC. The best scraper. Okay. Nice even if you let it soak a little bit, it makes it even much easier. Process, use the card, it's relatively easy. I feel like if you have a thinner card, it's actually probably worked a little bit better. Tape it off. That way we can put off the solder remover. 
What we do is just tape around the die. We just don't want it to spread all over. We're trying to just isolate the die. We want to remove all this solder. I got a lot of this stuff too. This is uh, a book a lot version. Basically, got a ton. Because I'll plan on doing it probably every chip I have. Uh, with liquid nitrogen stuff, we're always trying to get the most performance, the best performance we can. So, every little bit. This is not liquid metal. It's Quicksilver, by the way. I couldn't think of the name before. I have no idea why. But here, they tape this up pretty cool. Good. You can buy it off their website. It's relatively easy. I think I bought the 10 kit. So you do 10 CPU. I'm feeling this is going to go everywhere. You're supposed to leave it on for like an hour at least. So. It has a consistency of pretty much like a liquid metal. Just remember it isn't though. I don't really want to test it out on a brand new processor. What would happen if you did use this as liquid metal? Or use it. Probably bad things, man. Bad things. I suppose that you're just supposed to come back and agitate it quite a bit. See what it does.
like that. So, Slaggers, you can uh, pretty much see, I mean, look at that, you can see the beard off of that, it looks pretty damn cool. I didn't go too crazy on the uh, IHS, um, the person this for is actually going to use a direct eye, but I want to see a good, what the temperature difference is, so we're going to try a couple different, uh, we're going to try to see how much is improved, I'm, I'm guessing it's actually going to be quite a bit, because I, I didn't really see much of a pop on it, or hear much of a pop. I mean, Usually I hear like a like a really loud pop, and this one was like barely anything. I had some assumptions maybe the solder was just overheated or something where it just doesn't do good. So I guess the uh, next thing to do is uh, throw it in machine and then compare temps to how it was before. So let's look at that. All right, Slackers, uh, we just got done and it's some interesting results. So uh, I was just here on the Apex and. Um, so the, the chip that I have in there now, so before Delit was a, did about 5.2 at 1.2 volts, right? So the temperatures, I mean, the most it really would hit around there is about 80 degrees. Uh, you run it with an average, on average between 78 and 81, maybe. So now that with the Delit, now just to remember, I, I just use paste this time, so uh, I didn't use liquid metal. So obviously if you're gonna use liquid metal, it's gonna, gonna be a, um, your temps are going to be a lot better. But so what I did is I just used regular paste. I wanted to kind of see what the gauge difference just from going from a soldered CPU to a normal CPU would be, right? So what we ended up doing is basically about two to three average um, uh, temp, full temp load decrease. And that's just with paste. So with liquid metal, it's def definitely going to be worth it. I could probably see about 10 degrees at least. Um, liquid metal obviously works way better on air and water. Uh, it's not really good for... LN2, if, if you ever watch any of Jay-Z stuff, you, you would see that. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, so um, I definitely, this kit, this Rocket uh, rocket Cool kit with the Quicksilver, definitely works killer. Yeah, so it, it's it's an awesome kit. Um, I highly recommend it if you want to get it um, and go through this battle. Uh, overall, I mean, for the, the temp difference, I'm not sure if it's totally worth it. Um, for the extreme guys, or for someone who's trying to go for the ultimate performance on a on a chip that they want to lose warranty on, um, I think it's definitely worth it, especially with that kit. We're taking the solder off because I've actually deleted a CPU before without the the solder and uh, or with the solder, but not with the solder remover and without the quicksilver. And trying to sand it gets a little sketchy. So um, overall, it's a pretty good product. I definitely I'll do it again on another one just to test on another chip that I have a better chip. Um, it's always good to test on a, one chip that you don't like as much as the other one. You're, I guess your best chip. So, um, but yeah, uh, just a quick like if you like it. If you don't, oh well. Um, subscribe and uh, I'll see you slackers later.